हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर मोहम्मद मराज आलम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी इन दिस वीडियो सेशन आई विल डिस्कस द इन्वामेंटल डिग्रेडेशन व्हिच इज द पार्ट ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी पेपर व्हिच टॉट इन द बीए बीएड प्रोग्राम सेकंड सेमेस्टर फॉर द स्टूडेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स इन लास्ट इन in last video i have uh, discussed the environmental degradation uh, with brief uh, in with the length or this is the second video of the environmental degradation uh, which will discuss the different reason and different causes of environmental degradation okay now we will briefly present an an overview of the type and extent of environmental degradation in india with a special reference to land water fisheries biodiversity and climate change okay uh, first i will start from the land degradation the department of land resources ministry of rural development and the government of india has identified different types of degraded waste land and have prepared a west land atlas of india for the year 2000 with the help of uh, indian remote sensing satellites according to their estimates the degra degraded west land account for 20.16% of india's total geographical area the degraded land includes several types of land such as uh, grid and or revenues land water lost and marshy land land affected by salinity and alkalinity degraded coastal grazing land degraded notified forest land mining industrial waste land eroded steep sloping land sandy and desertic land and barren rocky stony waste land whatever the type of degraded degradation a common characteristics of degraded land is that their productivity is uh, almost negligible but it could be restored restored through proper reclamation measures and the management it is estimated that in india in 1994 about 188 million hectares of land which is 57% of country's total geographical area of about 329 million hectare hectare was degraded of the 188 million hectare of degraded land about 149 million hectare was affected by water erosion 13.5 million hectare by wind erosion about 14 million hectare by chemical detru detru a uh, deterioration and 11.6 million hectare by water logging uh, this is the research of sehgal and abrol uh, uh, which is which was done in 1944 a recent survey by the national bureau of soil uh, survey and uh, land use planning revealed that 66% of india's total geographical area around 192 million hectare was uh, at varying stages of degradation uh, this is the quote quoted in the um, uh, hux paper in 1997 land degradation has significant adverse impact on crop productivity and the environment dosi and jha have studied in 1991 in a study of four villages in uttar pradesh found that about 50% decline in crop yields over a period of 8 years was due to salinity and the water loss caused by the irrigation system uh, this was all about the uh, water deterioration now come to the degradation of sorry this was uh, all about was the land degradation now come to the degradation of water resources 
water is a finite but a renewable natural resources and and like other natural resources it is an important integral part of the environment okay uh, it is essential for the survival of all living beings on the planet and so also for socio economic development of household communities and the nations all over the world it is also necessary to maintain and enhance the biodiversity and the quality of environment water resources of india are under a great biotic and abiotic pressure most of the rivers lakes tanks and the ponds are polluted and the ground water aquifers are being over exploited in most of the arid and semi arid region and are on the verge of complete exhaustion depletion for example according to a report prepared by the central ground water board the the annual withdraw uh, withdrawal of ground water in calendar is block of jalandhar district of the central punjab exceeds the annual recharge by 350% besides in many areas the ground aquifer have been polluted contaminated droughts and floods also have been a bane of india's economy uh, since time immemorial all these factors together have adversely affected the quality of environment pollution of surface water resources uh, particularly lakes rivers and tanks ponds and the degrade degradation of quality of ground water have assumed worrisome proportion now in india the surface water is hardly fit for a uh, drinking the river ganga which is worshiped by devout devotee hindus as a mother ganga is no exception it is highly polluted at its several places similarly ground water in many arid and semi arid uh, areas has been depleted due to over extraction and degraded due to leaching of fertilizers and pesticide residues from the cultivated field consequently the incidence of water borne disease has increased significantly in recent years the center for science and environment new delhi in 2010 in a special issue uh, survival primer of its fortnight magazine down to earth has has carried stories of pollution of environment particularly pollution of the mother river pollution of lake koleru in andhra pradesh pollution of river yamuna air pollution and the degradation of india's rangelands the space available here does not permit us to present even a summary of the stories published but the sum and the substances of the theories is that india's natural resources and environment have been subjected to all kinds of misuse misappropriation wastage and degradation rendering the quality of environment unfit for a healthy and a safe living the extent of degradation of india's water resources has reached a stage when immediate intervention by the governmental and non governmental agencies through appropriate measures has become absolutely essential it seems to us uh, that the social benefits from such intervention will be markedly higher higher their social cost the natural and the man made disaster have been a bane of india's economy since time immemorial in ancient india's indian literature there are references to a natural disaster such as prolonged droughts flash floods hail storm landslides cyclones and forest fires about 60% of the land masses in india is vulnerable to earthquakes over 40 million hectare is a 
is prone to floods, about 8% of the total area is prone to cyclone and about 60% of the total area is susceptible to the droughts. About 8,000 km long coastline is prone to severe clonic formation. About 55% of the total area lies in seismic zone. Third, V and is vulnerable to earthquake. The sub Himalayan region and uh, western ghats are vulnerable to landslides. And the government, this is the report of government of India. Water uh, log logging and uh, salinity are two of the serious problems in many of the uh, canal command areas in India. According to an estimate made by working working group constituted by the government of India in 1991, an area of about 2.46 million hectares in 42 different commands in 15 states is affected by the problem of water lodging and salinity in the irrigated canal commands in India. This is the report published in the Government of India in 1991. Among the states, Bihar is worst affected by water logging problem, followed by Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, and Haryana. Incidentally, these are the states where canals have been major source of irrigation. Uh, I think this is sufficient uh, uh, material in this video. Uh, you you may go through some other notes as well and the book textbook which is referred by your teacher. You will find uh, some amazing facts about the environmental degradation. Why it is so important uh, as you uh, as you know that the concept of sustainable development have been developed in the background of environmental development as well why it is so important because there is a uh, if you want to conserve our uh, environment we have to do the sustainable development otherwise we will lose the balance of nature once we lose the balance of nature it will be difficult to uh, exist to the human civilization as uh, like that but uh, there is a uh, coexistence uh, we needed coexistence of human and other uh, uh, stakeholders on this planet. That's why uh, the environment is the very uh, basic uh, aspect of uh, human life. Without environment, uh, uh, a country or a person or society cannot develop, uh, cannot develop themselves because there are lots of people who are directly or indirectly depend on the environment even a good quality of environment if there is a good quality of environment there will be a good produce of agriculture and like that if there is a good environment there will be a good produce of fisheries uh, it is beneficial for those who are directly or indirectly depend on the fisheries okay in next uh, video of environmental degradation I will discuss about the degradation of the tree and some other de degradation which takes place in the uh, environment. Uh, so I will stop here in this video. Thank you so much for watching me. Keep it continue and uh, I will come to the next video again. Thank you so much.